two sheet C, question two. The table shows the number of male and female students studying and not studying English at college. The student is chosen at random. Part A, find the probability that the student studies English. The first thing you do when you get a two-way table is actually total up the rows and the columns. So you would have 90, 120, 150, 60, 70, 60. Overall total of 210. 210 students altogether. So the probability the student studies English is 150 out of the 210. So that's the probability that the student studies English. Part B. Given that the student is male, so we're only interested in male students, that there are 90 male students, find the probability that the student studies English. There are 16 students which are male and studying English. So it's 64 out of 90, which is equal to the probability that the student is male, given that they study English. Part C. Given that the student is studying English, find the probability that the student is female. So we're only interested in the students that are studying English, so that will be out of 150. And we want that the student is female. There are 86 students that are studying English, so it is 86 out of 150. And that is the probability that the student is female, given study English. Part D. Show that studying English is not independent of the gender of the student. If it was independent, if they are if independent, then the probability of studying English, given that they were male, should be equal to the probability of studying English. It shouldn't matter whether they were male or female. And that pro probability of studying English, given that are male, is actually 0 0.711, which is our 5, 32 over, 30, 32 over 45. And the probability that they study English is our 0 0.714, close, but not exactly the same. And that is our 5 over 7. And they are not equal, which would imply not independent. There are other ways you can do it, but as we've worked out those two probabilities, that would seem to me 